Hello YouTube. Today we'll be doing a mod review about Steve's Minecarts version 1.1. So as you can see I have a few different minecarts lined up over there. I'll go through them one after another. I'll try to make this quick because there's a lot of material in this mod. To start off there's the minecart with engine which is really simple. You just put some coal in it and it starts working. Um, now the minecart with engine the mine storage cart, which is the same thing, but with a little chest. Now we have the st large storage cart with with engine, which is again the same thing, with a bigger storage cart that works the exact same way. And finally, the huge storage cart with engine, which has a much bigger chest. Yeah. Um. Onto the traveling cart, which is a cart that you can travel in. You mount it and you put coal in, but you can't really control it or anything, so not too good. Now there's a more advanced version of this called the controllable traveling cart, which is basically the same thing except you can just choose when you start it and stop it. Oops. <sighs> Now there's the hybrid cart, which is basically like well, like any cart with engine, but you have solar power, so you can put fuel, make it work. Say to only work on electricity by right-clicking over here. Say you see it doesn't take the fuel. You could say half half. Another way half half, and there's other options like these. Yeah. Now we have the driving cart, which basically you can choose the speed, um, tell the direction, see how long. It's basically like a car, but cart version. Um, and there's something, a type of rail just for this called the jail, rail run, <laughs> rail junction. <laughs> jail. So basically this rail perm allows you to choose what direction you're going, you want to go to when you're inside the driving cart. So as you can see, um, I'll put some coal in first. First off, you press on spacebar to get your speed up. You can it's wait. I'll, I'll lower the speed. It works exactly like flying. The if you press spacebar, it'll fi it'll go faster, and if you play press shift, it'll go slower. And then uh, you can choose your directions with the arrow keys. So I'll choose to go right. Sorry. Now I'll go backwards. And this time I'll choose to go left. Yeah. I still haven't figured out how to get th out of this thing. Really annoying. Uh okay. Now this is a bit weird. The TNT cart which just goes and blows its it blows up after it hits a uh, detector rail. Yeah, I. That's kind of weird. And you have the you can the thing can hold up to uh, eight TNTs, which I guess just makes a bigger explosion. Now the building cart, which builds rails on its own as it's moving. Kind of slow, but pretty nice. And it goes up and down, so don't need to worry about that. We'll leave it do its job. Um, now the mining cart, which does exactly like the building cart over here. <laughs> oh wow, building cart can't. Can, I made a whole path for it, but the explosion destroyed everything. That's nice. Great. Oh well, well the mining cart. Just add some coal. And it's going to dig one block at the time and make a tunnel. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I, I guess if you have spare time and you're you're not watching, you're doing something else, you start off, you start it, and it's going to make a nice tunnel. Uh, now the torch placer, which I would personally put after that because you need light. Places a torch every few blocks or so, just like this. 
pretty neat. Um, now the mining cart with chest, which is exactly like the mining cart, except it has a chest. The simple AI miner. Pre I I would say this is my f mm, second favorite cart because you get to decide to what what um where you want it to dig, how low, how high. And so I decided I told it to go lower and so it's going to start digging down and it's going to make a path down to that level level. Now this one is the cleaning cart which by the name I didn't really understand at first but it picks up item and it has a limit of 15 items. So, so if I say item drop over here and all these items are on the ground now make it work. It'll pick up all the items, but it'll stop once it reaches its limit. After that, it can't continue. Um, now, on to my favorite cart. And over here. It's the turret cart. As the name su suggests, it's a turret. It dispenses arrows. Well, Dispenses whatever you want. You can put snowballs, eggs, I put arrows. Because I want to kill the pigs. Give them the pigs. So I'm going to pull this lever before activating it. And the lever is going to lift all the wood pieces over here. Or else the pigs are just going to get in the way. So basically, you choose where you want the arrows to come out of. And you, the arrows you put over here. And the fuel over here. So let's choose all over this. Lift it. Pretty deadly. Sadly, ah, I should have made it do a, do a loop or something, but that's pretty quick for arrows. I believe I killed most of the pigs, and. That's pretty much the turret cart. Now, I've done all the carts, but there's still a few things left for this mod. So, we have the cross rail, which is this piece right here. It enables uh, rails to overlap themselves, which you couldn't do before, which does something like this. Which would have been very useful before, so you don't have to make them go like underneath each other and stupid stuff like that. Um, now we have the cargo manager, which is this piece, and the advanced detector rail, which is like the detector rail, but it's compatible with this, and the detector manager right there. I will um, explain this. The cargo manager, when any cart that has the capacity of, well, that has capacity where you can put store stuff in it, will stop here and all the items that are in here will end up inside the cart. I'll show you. It stops. The items start ending up in there. And then once all the items are done loading, the cart will continue. Here we have the de the detec the the detector manager. When the cart passes on top, well, not the cart, but if any of these carts that you've selected passes on top, it'll activate the redstone current that you've linked to it. So I've uh, linked a redstone current underneath here, so that when the cart with engine passes on top, this should switch. So I'll show you with something that's not the cart with engine. See, it didn't, didn't work. It didn't activate. Now the cart with engine switched perfectly. Um, well, that's it for this mod. Hope you enjoyed. Please rate and subscribe, and see you next time.